Here's how Emperor Palpatine returned. The Emperor's new clone. The Rise of Skywalker was jammed with a ton of stuff, like space horses and force dyads and plot daggers, that there just wasn't room to explain everything, like how the main antagonist from the original trilogy returned, despite the fact that we saw him die in pretty convincing fashion. But now that an excerpt from the upcoming Rise of Skywalker novel has found its way online, we know that the Emperor's spirit was brought back and put into a clone body. Now, you may be asking yourself why a reborn Palpatine would still look all nasty with decayed fingers and he's got no legs and he's hanging from that mechanical arm thing. Shouldn't he be a sleek, young, supple Palpatine in his prime? Supple? Young? No, nobody's asking that. Uh, but to answer your really weird question, Joshua, the text says that Palpatine's clone body was an imperfect vessel, unable to contain his immense power. Well, that explains that, and it reinforces why he wanted to hop into Rey's super powerful Jedi body. His was expiring like that half of an avocado you didn't use for your sandwich. And you wanted to save it, but it turns brown in like 10 minutes, and it's just so unappetizing, and you're like, oh, gross, I don't want this anymore, and I've just completely wasted this whole thing. Exactly, mm -hmm. hate that. Well, this information is new to a lot of us, the actor who plays Palpatine, Ian McDermott, made an appearance at Comic-Con Brussels and explained to fans that there was actually a big clue right there in the movie. McDermott said, quote, at one point the script had the line in that first scene with Kylo Ren actor Adam Driver where he says, you're a clone. And I said, more than a clone, less than a man. Which seemed to me to sum him up, really, because we know that the camera has already snaked past the clone tank in which there are various versions of Snoke that you probably noticed. Yes, the vat of baby Snoke clones. How could my mind ever forget that imagery? But while this Palpatine clone thing may seem out of left field and just an excuse for them to forcibly retcon Palpatine into the plot of the sequel trilogy, it turns out that director J.J. Abrams originally considered bringing Palpatine back as a clone in The Force Awakens. Yes, Star Wars visual effects supervisor Roger Guyette revealed that Abrams had come up with the idea for Palpatine to be brought back by Sith loyalists and put into an unstable clone body pretty much the exact same thing we saw in The Rise of Skywalker. In hindsight, it probably would have been better to bring Palpatine back at the start of the trilogy rather than have him abruptly appear in the last installment with no concrete explanation, leaving us to cobble together the backstory from books and interviews, which is how all the best stories are told. I love it. But let us know what you think of Emperor Palpatine being an avocado. A clone. A clone down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. For more news from IGN Now, check out the reason Kevin Feige almost quit Marvel and the real reason Ben Affleck did quit DC. And be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.